Hi everyone, you all right? And welcome to Bolton. I'm just having a walk. I'm going to have a quick walk round. And uh, yeah, I just hope everybody's okay. Um, yeah. And I'm just having a walk round, minding my own business. Uh, I just, as I said, I just hope everybody's having a great day. Me, I'm not too bad. Um, yeah. I, as I said, I'm just walking around at the moment. We're going to have a little visit to Manchester Road and to see if any progress has been made uh, on the uh, new building pro new building project that they put that they're putting up. I understand that next to the uh, next to the market on Black Horse Street, they're doing um, well. They're basically turning round and. Uh, yeah. Cod fillet, six pounds. Cod fillet, chips, peas, six pounds. Yeah? That's pricey! <laughs> but never mind. As I said, I just hope everybody's having a great day. And there's a new start up. That's the opening soon, pizza and do pizza and donna kebab, because that used to be a vegetarian vegetarian uh, diner, but the major problem was I'm going across anyway. The ba the major problem was that. Um, that people wouldn't go in. People wouldn't go in there because one major one major thing. <laughs> people, you know, people just didn't like going in there. Stick my hand underneath so I can get a get across. Shall I go for it or not? We'll go for it. No, there's a bus coming. So I'm just waiting for this to change. Should I go for it? I'll go for it, why not? Why not? The guy's staying there for me, so... That's good. Thanks! He waited for me to get across. Now that's nice. That was nice. Uh, yeah, I'm just having to, going to have a walk up. Have a walk up Manchester Road. Sorry, I can't join the army because of um, my sight loss. Now this building here, well, it's been boarded up because. The major, pro for what I've been hearing, they can't. Someone shouting me. <laughs> that uh, you know that they can't get stu they can't get people to take it. Have you seen the state of some of the windows on there? Yeah, and it's starting to rain now. Starting to drizzle. Well, I wasn't expecting that. So we'll just have a quick walk up to... We'll have a quick walk up to uh, Manchester Road, up Manchester Road, and see what happens. Right, one of the things I'd like to happen here Right. I know they have the railway 
at the back here and and that but uh, I really do feel that we could well they could and should have Metrolink come here because it is a part of Greater Manchester and get well we could get rid of a few buses give Diamond it'll give Diamond something to uh, think about just coming up here just stripping it out Hello, oh, what's all this? Looks like they've been stripping. Looks like they've been stripping. Yeah. Stripping the place out. Yeah, I think they're stripping the place out. And I really do think that this block, this block in Clarity. Now, who are they? This is pretty. This is uh, pretty new. Never heard of them. Yeah, they've uh, got that. That used to be. That used to be cash converters. So Clarity has got that building. Hopefully, hopefully. What's that upstairs? Yeah. It used to be um, an eatery, a club. Bar and grill. Used to be a bar and grill. Hopefully, and then do mean hopefully, that they start doing the renovation work on this on this uh, area. What I'd really want them to do on the my on the right hand side is to pull it all down. It needs to be pulled down. And any of the shops on the other side that are empty, get the businesses to move over there. And get rid of, basically get rid of all the crap. To be truthful, not so far off knocking, knocking, uh, knocking into that. Bradshaw Gate Audio and Vision Services. Not very good. The look at the stuff. Not very good, is it? Not very good. So, yeah. The rumour is that all this raw, all this block is to come down. And once they've, once they've done that, once they've done that, they're going to, um, I know the top, they're going to put a uh, high rise. We're coming up to the, one of the developments in Bolton. Um, yeah, all this area is to go. They've got rid of the deal at car, the old, the old Williams car dealership. They've moved further up, but. So how much longer are they going to stay there? 
I don't know. The other rumour is there's a, this pub here that I'm just going past. The, I can't remember. The Elmer Inn. Well, there's rumours that that is going to be taken down. So the landlord is going to have to start looking for somewhere else to, somewhere else to go. Uh, yeah, we're going to go, we are going, I am going to do a little bit of back streets of Bolton. And I'm just going to have a walk, I'm just going to have a bit, a bit, a walk a bit further up. And see what the state of play is. Now this is meant to be another development site of which has not been complete. It's not, well, they've been on about this for years and years and years. I must admit, they've basically done absolutely nothing they've done absolutely nothing to this uh, to this bit oh there's a van coming out network rail well it looks like network rail has taken it over as a yard um, yeah Yeah, because it's meant to be being built on. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm just going to go and have a look. We're going to have a closer look at this. Uh, look at it. Look at this. They've put another thing there so we're just having a walk up Manchester Yard we're, going, we're just having a look at this new this new uh, well it's been going on for quite some time I'm down 200 quid I think Yeah, we're just having a walk up to the side of Manchester Road. And we're going to have a walk down the side here of this old mill. Because we're going to see what it's meant to be. I'm just going to have a metro, metro. They're going to have to find somewhere else. I'm just going to have a walk around Bolton for a bit. Yeah, yeah, just have a walk around Bolton for a bit. Nothing more, nothing less. Have a walk around. And, uh, yeah. We're on Manchester Road. We're just going to go and have a look, see what's happening down here. That's a bit uh, bad really. Whoops, I nearly knocked the phone out of my hand. We'll just uh, see, what that, see what's happening down here. Let's see if there's a sign or a board on, on here. Still got uh, a few boards down. Now this boob 
What a crappy area. Hopefully, hopefully soon this area is going to be bulldozed. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go and have a look what this what this uh, development's meant to be. I've heard it's going to be apartments, but uh, well, we'll just go and find out. Have a walk. We're just having a walk around Bolton for a while, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, a lot of Bol a lot of Manchester Road will be not will be uh, demolished very soon, or or um, or um, yeah, flattened. A special message to Bolton Council you need to green light more development because if you don't Salford and Manchester are going to are going to get the uh, amount you know they're going to get the most money for redevelopment you've got to show these um, fun you know these funds that uh, that you're really serious about redevelopment of your t of your town X Y Z. That's why that's why down by the Manchester Ship Canal, that's why they're getting most of the money. Salford, I must say, is basically getting all that and really it's about time that the development of, of especially of Bolton uh, should, should really start really and I don't know why Bolton Bolton Town Council of being, shall we say, lackadaisical, shall we say, and warning, caution, site entrance, unprotected and patrolled by Richmore Security. Oh, right, Richmore Security. So I'm just having just having a quick quick uh, side office this way. We'll just have a quick walk around. To be truthful, ICCG and our city centre construction group. Never heard of them. This from city. Yes, I know that, but we want to know what they're going to be what the what the what the usage is going to be. You know what the usage is going to be. Is it going to be is it going to be apartments or is it going to be an office block? Well, to be truthful. I'll be truthful about that. We don't need office blocks anymore because people are working from home. And I'm just having a look at what uh, at what the what are they using this? What are they going to use this building for? I'm just wondering wondering what they. Going to be using this building for. 
I'm just having a look. I reckon. I reckon. It's going to be apartments for uh, students. Yeah, I reckon so. So I'm going to turn around, go back to where we came, and yeah. This, but up here used to be uh, the college. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm just having a walk. I'm just having a walk around, minding, mind, you know, minding my own business. But uh, I'm doing a bit of a blog, you see, and, and trying to find out what the all the uh, developments are because this basically you've stopped, haven't you? Look at it. A lot of it is a bit manky. Oh, and six one five eight. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, we'll give him a. We'll give him a fit. Give him a ring. See what uh, what the state of play is. Well, we'll just have a walk down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the bus. I'm going to walk up to the bus station and uh, get on the bus and go and go home, basically. Because it's started to rain. And I don't want to get any water in my camera. It looks like apartments, definitely. They are basically doing apartments with with those. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, apartments. And I think it's going to be like, I hope. And it's having to walk up. That chimney up there I could do with uh, a cell tower putting on it. Because that's what would be a good, a good spot for one actually. So, let's have a look. Is there a car coming down? Yeah. But it, it's like to me that project has stopped. It's like that project has stopped. And, uh, well, that's not good, is it? We might have a walk down to Black Horse Street and see what's going on there. God, I don't know. I don't Get a drink in a bit and uh, pour some liquid through. And when I get to black, then I'll go off shop and buy, buy a couple of bottles. Come on, that's it. So that's the forty seven. Is it? Yeah, there we go. Forty seven. I think it's the forty seven. Forty seven to Rochdale. That is that is a bus ride and a half. That's a ride and a half to Rochdale. I've never been, 
I've been to Rochdale once. Once. But I'd never do it again. Unless, unless, unless you lot want me to. <laughs> so we'll go across over the bridge, straight across. Now we'll just take this shot, take this shot of Manchester Road because it might not be here anymore it probably get across whilst the traffic goes across so we're just going to have a walk down and I'm going to stop the video have a drink and then you know it's just one of those things if you if you haven't if you haven't come across my channel before, well, my name's Alan, and this is the Alan Kane's Daily Blog YouTube channel. I put uh, I put well places on, you know, if I go someplace. I must admit, Bolton Council, you're dis you're dis you know, you're a disappointment. You should be... You know... It's... It's about time... You told the developers that... You must complete your projects. You must complete your projects. Because if you don't, there will be circumstances. There will be, you know, you know, penalties, shall we say. There will be penalties. And Bolton Council, you're better off. You bet. You're better doing that because you don't want you don't want to be a shithole like Blackburn. You don't want to be a shithole like Blackburn. One of the things what you could do is dissolve your council and come apart of Salford. Ooh, that how controversial that would be. How controversial that would be. If Bolton came apart of Salford. Oh, oh. Yeah. What would happen if that happened? The things that would happen here, you know. would be a mess are you alright? yeah I've been I've been hearing rumours that they're talking about tearing, tearing the whole block down oh really? yeah right man that's crazy no because what it is it's uh, subject to redevelopment right right Plus, with there being so many derelict, derelict stores, yeah. which are in 
uh, disrepair. Bolton Council have got fed up. Have got fed up with a lot of the tenants on here, saying that that they'll clean up the premises and they haven't done it. So basically, in a few months' time, there's going to be a, a meeting of the planning department of press, of Bolton Council, and they're basically going to look at, at conditions that some of these shops are in, right, and then uh, well, they won't, they won't, because because what will happen is they'll, they'll put a compulsory purchase order, order on the whole block so but the major problem is you've yeah. got you've got Salford up the road sucking all the money in because if you go out to Salford now they've, they've just started a, another another round of building high rises uh, yeah so you know but the, there are there are uh, rumblings that uh, they're going to they're going to try and uh, form a super council, which which Bolton will basically disappear. I don't believe that. Oh aye, oh aye, because uh, they did it to they, don't forget they did it to sale. Yeah, but Bolton's one of the largest towns in Europe. It's not. It's not. It's not. It is. It's not. It is. It's not. It's one of the largest towers in Europe. Not anymore, it's not. It's one, It's still regarded as one of the largest towers in Europe. One of. Yeah, town. Yeah, yeah. Town. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, they're, talking, they're talking city status. Yeah, but it's, they still got to respect the towers, man. Oh, there's no respect for anybody. Uh, you know what the government's like. Yeah, you're right, you're right, sir. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah. So, yeah, this block, whole block could be taken down. Um, yeah, so the traders here will have to find somewhere else to move to. And, uh, yeah. Bolton, Bolton Council, get your finger out. Because the other thing is... The other thing is that the money might go up the road to Salford, maybe even Manchester, you know. We'll see what happens when Bolton, when Bolton planning, planning Committee, uh, you know, decides what they're going to do. And that bus just gone past has come from Accrington. <laughs> another, another toilet. Well, we're going to have to do something on Accrington <laughs> and how bad it's, and how bad that's getting. Quite a lot of northern towns are getting like this. And they're, they're getting a mess. They're getting a mess. I wouldn't like to live in. I wouldn't like to live. I wouldn't like to live here. You know, I just want to, especially on this road, because it's a mess, a goddamn mess. Take down as far as there. This buffet, buffet place, and then uh, carry on, carry on further down. But this place is going to be redeveloped. I think it's going to be apartments, more apartments. It's going to be bedsit land. It really is. So, you know, we'll just wait and see.
Gotta be careful, gotta try and talk over this music, just in case I get a copyright strike. <laughs> yes, this is the Alan Kane's Daily Vlog YouTube channel. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just having a walk, walk about in Bolton. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going up to the bus station now to get the bus back. So, let's have a walk up, and yeah, this, this place at the side of me is student accommodation for the University of Bolton, of which has a management building, management, uh, you know, a management uh, well, it shows it te they teach people how to manage stuff. To what a look at the look around of Bolton, it's not doing too good. It's not doing too good. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Bolton Council, if you are watching, approve all the planning applications. Approve them all because your town, your town is, well, in a bit of a mess. And I think it's about time that you did something about it. Most northern towns, most northern, northern towns really need to sort out their shit. They really do. They really do. They really do need to sort out their shit. Because, you know, a lot, a lot of them are basically a mess. A mess. Right, we're gonna go on to the bus station now. and uh, see how things go. And see how it goes. So welcome to the bus station, of which we're gonna turn around. And uh, we're gonna get on the bus. And I'm gonna ring up, find out if anybody's wrong. <laughs> God, Bennett, it must be coming. This is a tailor's, tailor's shop where they, where they do people's clothes and stuff. Make sure that, you know. It's a good business, really. You know. It's uh, a good thing to have. You know, it's a good thing to do. Constantly doing... Going past Craig's. We'll just have a walk round. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people here not wearing face masks because. But the thing is. Yeah, what I've been hearing is they might be bringing the mask mandate back. So they're going to be they're going to be bringing back the mask mandate down back. Oh, but, 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 but Preston's having a bus here, and I've just got in time just to get the one. So. So I'll we'll just get, get, get in the queue. And uh, go to flight then. And I just hope everybody's having a great day. I am, so far. And uh, 
yeah we'll see how busy this bus gets Ashley Bridge and Blackburn I think White bus station, please. Thank you very much. Uh, where am I sitting? Where am I sitting? Uh, Looks like, looks like, looks like, looks like I can get in the back seat again. <laughs> All right. Let me know when you're getting off. <laughs> So we're on the bus now and uh, yeah so a big massive shout out to PT Blogs old Blackpool biker uh, visit Found Coast, Helen's Crowd Loud and Proud, Take a Walk on the Wild Side, and Beyond the Edge, or, and everybody else who uh, has subscribed to my channel. Um, that is, that is really appreciated and you know this channel wouldn't be anything without you you know and uh, yeah I hope everybody's having a great time um, I've been round a bit round Bolton today of which you've uh, been a part of um, yeah, this video should be up later on today, and it's you know just one of those days that I've had. Um, we first started off in we first started off in Blackburn, but I went around the shopping centre there, which is. Not to the extent of Crump it's not to the extent of Crompton Place here. But uh, it, Crompton Place is basically um, Well shall we say it's getting a little it's getting a little bit like Walkden. Walkden Town Centre. But uh, you know, you can see some of the some of the miles that uh, that I've done on my other um, he wants to sit down down there. So Manchester Road. So, you know, it's just one of those things. Hello. 
He just couldn't be bothered. He just couldn't be bothered walking across town. <laughs> Five, ten minute walk. You know, simple as that. I'll just move across so that, you know, so that uh, nobody can, you know, but I'm not in anybody's way. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens for the rest of today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bugger off now. Or do you want me to leave a comment in the comment, comment section below if you want me to if you want me to keep the camera running all the way to black then. Yeah. If you want me to keep it running to black then. Because what I could do, I could, I could, I could, I could stick, you know, point it at the window outside. Because majority of the time you'll see a seat. So, no worries. Stick it to outside. So, there we go. Warhammer is, you know, so, so I'll get off in black then and I'll be right. I could even get off it now, but see what happens. So, no worries. Yeah, there we go. Off we 
Yeah. Even get the announcements on this bus. Oh, well, they're getting deliveries. Citroen van. Tomorrow, uh, we'll do uh, thing. No on the bus. for the badge on it. Fly as well. to the shop and get three bottles. Drizzling on there, so don't know. We were night earlier on today. Tesla. I think that was. <laughs> we're stuck at the traffic lights at the moment.
Stop the video for the moment. 